Hey, what's up you guys? Installing a trailer hitch on your Lexus LX470 can take you to some really cool places like camping, biking, or even towing a U-Haul trailer just about anywhere in North America. Let's go ahead and break down that install. You'll need the tools seen here to complete this installation. Now we want to point out that your vehicle may already have an option for a factory hitch receiver. Now that would be located right here behind this cover. You just have to take a trim panel tool or screwdriver or something like that. You'll just push up from the bottom and this comes off. Now if you have the factory hitch, you can install it just right here. You have four attachment points that you can bolt it onto. Now this hitch is very difficult to get. This is, this is an older vehicle and the dealer was the only one that offered it at the time. So it's very difficult to get that if you already don't have it with your Lexus LX470. Now, in our case, another issue that a lot of people have found online is that the spare tire is right behind. And if you have a shank, such as one for a weight distribution kit that's longer, it hits that spare tire and won't be able to line up correctly. Now, this vehicle will be used with a weight distribution kit. So even if we had the factory hitch, this option wouldn't work for them. So we're gonna show you how to install the Kurt aftermarket hitch onto this vehicle. Let's go ahead and start. To start off our install, we're going to remove our tow hook located on the driver's side frame rail. Now it's held in by two bolts. We're gonna remove those using a 19 millimeter socket. And we'll repeat on the passenger side. Now, if you have the factory trailer wiring installed on your vehicle, we're gonna to need to lower this temporarily while we bring our hitch into place. Now, this bracket is held in by two bolts. We're gonna remove those using a 12 millimeter socket. Now we're ready to bring our hitch into place. We're gonna be using our U-Haul exclusive hitch jack. Now, if you don't have a hitch jack, we recommend that you get an extra set of hands as this hitch is pretty heavy. Now, this square right here is gonna go around our exhaust tip. So let's go ahead and put it into place. Now we're ready to bring all of our bolts into place. Now our kit comes with two different sizes. You could have an M12 or an M14 size bolts depending on the size of the weld nuts on your vehicle, which differs depending on your model of LX470. Now our kit is only using the larger bolts, the M14s. Now each bolt comes with a flat washer and a lock washer. Let's go ahead and put all of those into place on the driver's side. And we want to leave it a little bit loose. And we'll repeat on the passenger side. Now our last attachment point is just slightly off. We need a little bit more room going to the outside to be able to put our bolt into place. So let's show you a little tip on how to get your bolt in and help line it up if it's just slightly off. We're gonna take a pry bar, we're gonna put it into that hole and we're gonna pull outward and you can see the hitch move over there to give us a little bit more space. Now we're gonna take our socket for our next bolt. This is a 22 millimeter socket and we're gonna tighten this while we're pulling outward on the pry bar. Now that that's tightened, we can let go of the pry bar and now our bolt is holding it into place where we have more room. Now with everything in place, we're going to tighten and torque all of our bolts to the manufacturer specification. We're using a 22 millimeter socket for all of these bolts. And if you need the instructions to find those specs, you can find that in the description below.
So all we have to do is remount our factory trailer wiring. Now, one issue with this hitch is that it does block those two holes. So if we tried putting it in the same spot, we wouldn't even be able to open up our connector. So we're gonna need to move this back. We're just gonna move it right back here. And we're gonna use some self-tapping screws to drill into there and mount it in a new location. Now these tabs are sticking up, which keep it from going flush with the frame. So we're gonna need to cut those off. We're just gonna use an air saw to cut the tabs. Now we're gonna use some large self-tapping screws to attach our bracket to our frame. Now, if you need these, you can pick it up at your closest U-Haul or at your closest hardware store. Now, to use this, we're gonna use a 13 millimeter socket. Now that our wiring is secured, we have enough room where we can go ahead and plug in our trailer wiring without the hitch being in the way. So with our hitch installed, we pulled our vehicle down onto level ground to show you some important measurements for your hitch accessories. This is a two inch receiver. From the pinhole to the end of the bumper is one inch, and from the ground to the top of the receiver is 21 inches. This will help you determine the length, rise, and drop for your hitch accessories, such as a bike rack and cargo carrier. So that wraps up our install. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions about this product or if you'd like to schedule an installation with a U-Haul Hitch professional, you can visit your closest U-Haul Hitch Center or you can visit us online at uhaulhitches.com. Thank you.